inverse functions inverse functions okay an inverse function is denoted by this okay you'll see a little negative one up here as an exponent so if we did have a function like the f of x and let's say it's x to the third plus four which you could probably graph just by looking at it the inverse function would be note, denoted by the f with the negative one up in the exponent. Okay, now to find the inverse function, if your f of x is y, y equals x to the third plus four, you would simply switch the x and the y. Any x's turn to y's, any y's turn to x's. So you would have this, x equals y to the third plus four. And then you would follow the steps to solve for y. Okay, so this isn't a video on how to do that. It's just to try to explain what it is. So let me just show you what these are. Okay, so this is the inverse of x. It would be the cubed root of x minus 4. Now there's a few other things to note about inverse functions. One is that when you graph them, like I'm going to do here, That was x to the third plus 4. Okay, it's that snake shape that moves up to 4. And then this one is going to be the cube root of x minus 4. Okay, that 4 belongs to the x, so it's moving it 4 this way. When you graph them, they are symmetrical. And they're symmetric about this line right here. Okay, it's a mirror image over this line. And this is the line y equals x. Okay, see how if you if you could fold it and take this and flip it up here, that it would match. Okay, so we've seen even functions that were symmetric about the y-axis, and we've seen odd functions that were symmetric about the origin. Inverse functions are symmetric about this line y equals x. Okay, a few more things to note about inverse functions. One way that you can tell without graphing it is finding the f of g of x and it will give you x and at the same time the g of f of x will also give you x. So you're gonna have some problems where you have to do composite functions both of them are going to give you x. And then there's one more thing. H, L, T. This is not ham, lettuce, and tomatoes. This is the horizontal line test. And if your function passes the horizontal line test, then it does have an inverse. Okay, very similar to the vertical line test to see if it is a function. So let's say I have this graph here in gray. Let me do that, make that a little better. Let's do it like this. Okay, if I draw a horizontal line, boom, boom, it hits twice. So this one does not have an inverse. Let's do another one. Let's see something like this. Okay also does not have an inverse but something like this does have an inverse because if you try to draw a horizontal line and you get it to hit more than once it's never going to happen okay so if it passes the horizontal line test it does have an inverse
H-L-T.